Hello, good morning once again. Good day. This is Arvin Alonso demonstrating to you basics of IT application tools in Microsoft Excel. And in this video presentation, I would like to demonstrate how to make use of data validation. Now, one of the things that we should uh, do in our workbook is to uh, try to limit the possible values that we enter in some columns or even in some rows or in a cell and data validation would try to help us uh, solve those situations so what is data validation it is a method of regulating cells on possible va data values entered in a range of cells so with data validation we the user is reminded of the limit that can be entered in the range of cells for example you have a column for sex and you would like to limit only the values to be entered under that column male or female or m or f or you have a column for uh, basic pay or a uh, rate per day for example and you set, would like to set the minimum rate per day into 400 and the maximum into 1500 then data validation would help you solve that situation it also allows you to control what data is inputted in a cell now uh, so with data validation data is limited and can be shown from a drop down list in order to prevent duplicate values i will demonstrate this one how to prevent duplicate values when we will i will be discussing uh, for a uh, format as table when data should either be numeric text date only when text should be on uppercase letters when you have a maximum length of data and in order to prevent future dates to be entered or even previous dates for example you would like to enter date employed or date hired if you don't set any data validation you can have a date hired even before the organization existed or in the a future date so we will limit that one when data should be validated based on entries in another cell i'll demonstrate that one afterwards if data contains certain specific text now in data validation by default we are using any value that's why in any cell we normally input any value but we can have data validation for whole number only for decimal for list for date time text length and even to customize the data validation now let's start uh, demonstrating the setting up of data validation i have here a sample data this sample data actually is what i used in the preparation of a payroll system that's why if you notice i have my main uh set up employee data dtr summary and the payroll itself okay now first i what if i would like the sex to be male or female only if you notice i can enter value like that so to avoid that one i will include a data validation and that is we go to data and then click on data validation now here we have three parts settings input message and error alert in the settings what do you allow so since we would like the column to enter a value either male or female then we will use list here you can have a source for example your source is coming from a range of cells then you can get that uh, range of cell but if if not there are only limited values you can type it directly under the source for example male comma female if you want m or f only okay and then will you ignore blank yes because sometimes you do not know the exact sex of a certain employee 
will you use cell drop down yes okay what is the input message the input message will give a guide to the user what to input in that certain cell or in that certain column say for example uh, select male or female only why did i use select because there is a drop down list that will be uh, included in the column in the cell okay you you can have a title of that message if you want to uh, sex for example and then error alert what is the error al error alert is very important when uh, for a user especially if the user entered an incorrect value that is out of range out of the condition so for example uh, error and then uh, wrong value select from choices okay what's the style either stop warning or information i will just say stop click ok now take note input message and error alert are optional what is important is you have the settings click ok so what you see now here is the input message so you notice excel is now giving the user an idea what to do sex select male or female only so you have already an idea what to do okay so here when you type any value it will it will not be any more accepted and the error alert that we have set will be displayed wrong value select from choices so cancel and then you just select from choices so that's using list we can do the same with this data validation any value uh, the allow would be list say for example single married and say for example widow slash widower okay i did not include any input message and error alert that's why you don't see an input message as compared to the sex so here you can select what if you enter any value excel will create a default error message this value doesn't match the data validation restrictions defined from this cell so that's how uh, data validation works now let's proceed to another example our third example say for example that the salary grade for a certain employee should range from 5 to 30 only so we set the data validation the allow is whole number between there are ad, uh, other options here between not between equal to not equal to greater than and so on and so forth so you have to analyze what do you want to set up as a data validation so i will use between between 5 and 30 so 5 and 30 here will be included okay will you ignore blank if you don't like then uncheck this one uh, say for example we will put an error alert out of range 5 to 30 only i did not have i did not input any input message so so we have that i'll enter 4 oh out of range 5 to 30 only cancel okay when I put 31, oh, it's not accepted. 30, it's accepted. Okay? So, that's on whole number. For the next column, we will have a data validation for date. So, settings, date, 
So, say for example, will you use between or will you use uh, less than? Say for le example, less than today. Less than equals today. Meaning, it will not accept at the date today and equals today. The, it will not accept the date today and the future dates. Okay? When I use between, I can uh, have start date. Say, for example, 0, 01, 0, 01, 1900 to today. Okay, click OK. Oh, I did not place any equal sign there. OK. Now, so for example, 1, uh, 12, 31, 18, It will not be accepted. 1, 1, 1900. It is accepted. 12, 15, to 2020 it will not be accepted okay so that's how we can make use of uh, data validation for birth date now let us have another example say for example that in order for me to enter a first name there should also there should already be a value for the last name this time we can make use of the custom data validation so we click on data validation under data tab custom then I'll set a formula uh, in this situation uh, with regards to the use of custom I would like you to look into more discussions in the internet there are a lot of how we can maximize uh, the use of custom as a data validation so if for example here is is text b2 a b3 what does this mean uh, this formula evaluates whether the value in b3 is a text if not value here will not be allowed to enter i'll click ok say for example i'll enter it's accepted now say for example the value here is a numeric i'll enter a value here it's not accepted why because uh, the data validation evaluated this one as not as a numeric value it's not a text value so i'll enter a text here then I can now enter a value here. So that's the use of custom. Uh, perhaps I'll have another example here. Uh, here, for example, in the number of working days, I can set up to be to have a data validation between 0 and 23. Okay. And for calamity, I have a data validation between 0 and 5,000. For uh, association use, for example, 0 to 5,000. So all of these are uh, cells have a data validation so that I can limit the number of values to enter. With regard to this, I actually uh, used uh, a formula using the text function, month function, and today function so that it will convert the numeric value of month into October or to the uh, word into a word this one year of today is the function that I use so that it will get the year the current year so this is an example of how we can make use of data validation even here for example uh, there's a, a message 0 to 100 0 to 23 0 to 23 okay so all of these 
has a data validation. Just to show you, there we have the data validation. So, I hope you learned something new about data validation and apply this one in the workbook that you will be preparing so that the users of the workbook will not uh, will at least eliminate some errors in the data entry. God bless everyone. Hope you learned something new in this video presentation. Thank you.